There were plenty of memories, of course. I mean, I went to quite a few games. I lived three blocks from Ebbets Field. I lived on uh, Empire Boulevard and Brooklyn Avenue. From the, uh, from the roof of my building, we were able to see the, uh, the uh, lights on at Ebbets Field and the cheers of the crowd. Um, the thousands of people that would leave Ebbets Field. I remember my dad taking me to Ebbets Field um, and uh, sitting mostly in the, in the grandstands. Um, we would hang out on Bedford Avenue during batting practice to try to catch a ball, which I never did, but some of my friends did, uh, sneaking in to a game. And by the way, in those days, it wasn't like today with security and all that. You just, after the first inning, the, the ticket takers would let you in. They couldn't kill us. And half the time you would spend watching the Dodgers, but the other half of the time you would watch the people in the, uh, the fans because they were among the craziest, looniest characters that you'll ever find. And I got a hunch it's going to be the same thing at Barclays Center with uh, the Brooklyn Nets. So it was very, in fact, I remember one game, it was the Milwaukee Braves in those days versus the Brooklyn Dodgers, and we won 24 to 3, and nobody left until the last out, and all of us were with the, uh, with the handkerchiefs in our hands, that's what we used to do in those days, uh, as uh, the Brooklyn Dodgers uh, defeated that team. Uh, the only sad note for me is my father loved uh, me and loved my younger sisters and my mom, and he lived for the Brooklyn Dodgers equally to us, uh, and then he died a year before they won the World Series in 1955. I wish he could have at least lived to see that moment. But I have a hunch he knew that they finally made it. And we waited for that day. It's hard to understand among folks living in Brooklyn today. But we waited for that day for so many years. And when we finally beat those Yankees, those dreaded Yankees, those hateful, vengeful Yankees, in 1955, uh, Brooklyn stopped for almost two weeks. Two weeks. They were running out of the buses, the trolleys. People were high-fiving each other, crying, laughing. It, no one went to work for two weeks here. There were rallies. They were right in front of Borough Hall. I went to one where you know we, thousands of people congregated uh, in in happiness and, and and tearing. But finally, we got the respect that was due us all that time, and it's going to happen again.